uh, we need not add graphic story to the second clause. To, to the first clause, I think you meant actually. To the first clause. Speech in favor of the amendment? No, only, you can only do that when the, when the first order, you can only do amendments at this point if the first order amendment was for substitution. You cannot amend the amendment. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Yeah, a speech in favor. Thank you. I just, thank you. Family drama. Mr. Todd Dashoff. Father and child contact. Todd Dashoff, I believe that uh, when Mr. Stanley read the motion, the word fiction was prominent in the beginning of the motion. I think that automatically includes graphic story. A uh, speech against the amendment. Yeah, uh, yes. The, I'm sorry, I, I, because the lectern is over here, I'm going to miss people over that side, so you might have to get more of my attention. Colin Harris, I was the maker of the motion. With Colin, hold the microphone to your mouth. And don't go over Colin Harris. I was the maker of the motion with um, Mary Robinette Kowal last year. Um, it's sort of unfortunate that in carrying this forward, the commentaries that were with it last year aren't repeated and they do clarify this. We made two changes. One was to the four fiction categories. Um, what we did was we introduced the word story where we used to have written fiction because in the past, people tended to use written fiction as, oh, that's not audiobook then. So even though it wasn't explicit in the Constitution, there was an implicit interpretation. We wanted a more neutral wording. So we made the main change in 326 to say the, the four fiction, ca classic fiction categories should be open to work in which the text is the primary form of, of the communication. I'd say graphic story is not something, by definition, in which text is the primary form of communication. We then changed 325 um, nothing about audiobooks, but we wanted to remove the words written fiction just because, again, they were conveying that cue and get more neutral wording. So that's why we have the two clauses. And in fact, it was explicit in the commentary last year that it said 325 will extend the clause to cover best graphic story to, just to avoid the word written, which carries that weight. Um, and as I say, in response to the amendment, I would say text is not the primary form of communication. Um, in graphic story as it is not in BDP. And these were the categories we we're trying to separate in introducing the idea of audiobook as legitimate. Thank you. That was, a that was a speech against the amendment, speech in favor. You don't have to speak if you don't want to. Uh, is, uh, uh, there's been a motion for the previous question to close debate. Is there a second? How many other people will still wish to speak to the question on the amendment to the proposal only? Okay, all those in favor of the amendment from Dr. Lurie to uh, add graphic story to the first clause of the amendment, raise your hands. All those in favor of adding graphic story, raise your hands. Hands down, those opposed? Hands down, the negative has it, the amendment fails. We are back to the Persian printed in page 143 of the program book. How much total debate time remains on the motion? Each side has about a minute and a half. About a minute and a half left. Ms. Secor, uh, is, uh, is there an objection to closing the debate? Uh, oh, I'm sorry, how many people still want to debate? Hearing, hearing none, is there any objection to ending the debate? The debate is ended. On the motion to ratify item A2, a, short, a, a story by any other name. All those in favor of ratifying the, amend, the constitutional amendment, raise your hands. Hands down. Those opposed? Hands down. The affirmative has it. The constitutional amendment is ratified. It takes effect at the end of this world con. How are we doing on time? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Item A3 is Hugo finalist. Move to amend portions of Article 3 of the Wisfus Constitution to change references to these works or people that appear on the final Hugo Award ballot to finalist and to change references to candidate to nominee as shown in the redlining. It's on pages 143 through 44 of your program book. Is there any objection to ratifying this constitutional amendment? Hearing none, this constitutional amendment is ratified and takes effect at the end of this World Con. The secretary is now catching up.
When the secretary is ready. Well, you know, we could we were optimists when we made the slides initially. And I was doing that slide that you're seeing that you're making fun of my typos um, at about 12:30 this morning. So cut me some slack, eh? Maybe in the back of my jacket. Sorry, sorry, sidebar. Well, if you you insist, I don't Okay, never mind. All right. Item A.4, WSFIS membership types and rates. Moved to amend the WSFIS Constitution by inserting a new section between sections 1.5.7 and 1.5.8. The new section would read, no convention committee shall sell a membership that includes any WSFIS voting rights for less than the cost of the supporting membership required by Article 4 in the section in the selection of that convention. There's four minutes debate time on this. Is there anyone who wishes to debate it just by a show of hands, please? Nobody? Okay. Is there any objection to ratifying it? Uh, by unanimous consent, the A.4 is ratified. Thank you for making my job easy. The, we'll, as we are moving now to new constitutional amendments, the chair is going to have another technical timeout, but is there a, the member rising for a question? Would the member come to the microphone, state your name, speak directly into the microphone, and face the audience rather than the head table? And then state the question. Um, I would like to ask... Speak your name, say your sorry, name. My name is Jeff Thorpe, and I would like to ask the chair if the motion that we have passed has any effect on the ruling of the chair in 1990, when a, a member aged 11 was allowed to propose a motion to this, uh, to this meeting. Ah, very well, I'll, state, I'll understand this. There is a ruling made in the past that a, a member aged 11 uh, present, made a motion before this meeting. That wasn't you, was it? Uh, no, no, it, it was, no, no, I got the it? dates wrong, sorry. I got, I got, I, I can, the, the circumstances was a motion which was seconded by Donald E. Eastlake the fourth. Oh, it was. Oh, it was. Okay, it was him. Okay, it, was, it was him. It was him. Okay, sorry. There, in 1990, an 11-year-old member of the convention holding an attending membership to the convention. Am I right? Or was he? Had yes, a, he was a full attending member. member of the convention. Uh, no, he was a full attending member. He was a, a full attending, attending member. A full, a full attending, attending member, just like most of you in this room. And he participated in the, in the conversation. A point of order was raised that he was underage. The chair ruled that it was legal for him to participate. That is in the rulings of continuing effect. The inquiry was, does the just passed rule about uh, membership types and rates have any effect on that ruling? The chair says, no, it has absolutely no bearing on that. None whatsoever under any circumstance. Is that clear? <laughs> Thank you. Now. I want to elaborate slightly before we have a short recess, but Worldcons, this Worldcon has an attending membership and two discounted membership rates for military and young adult members. Those two classes are just attending memberships by a different name. They also have a child membership which does not have voting rights. If, they have, if someone has a child membership that doesn't have voting rights, they're not a member of this assembly. But they could be one day old, if they have an attending membership, they're a member of this organization. There is no age restriction on WSFIS memberships. Thank you. Honestly, I believe some of you have forgotten what it was like to be young. This meeting is, a, this meeting is in recess. Yes, we for, have. This, I believe perhaps it would be best to take the bio break at this point. This meeting is in recess until 1110.